13 years ago, my mom passed away suddenly. Um, her name was Monica. Um, I started looking for a solution because I did not like what I was thinking. I didn't like the place I was in. I didn't like how I was feeling. Um, felt alone and that no one understood what was going on. I pretended that I was okay and it felt like I was okay until I would get home and I felt that the walls were closing in on me. So um, I was introduced to what was then grief care. Um, I remember going in and thinking, and I listened for a bit, and I heard from different tables where people were just talking about what was going on with them. And I thought, no, not for me. This is not good. Again, everybody's talking about death and dying. And I remember one particular gentleman, the facilitator at our table, he just looked at me and he said, it's okay. And that was the first time, I think that was the beginning for me, where somebody actually looked me in the eye and said it was okay. I just started to trust the facilitator and to understand when they start to share that God is about healing and that he understood and he understand what I was going through and that I'm not alone. My biggest challenge that I encountered um, was trust. Here it was that I had to sit around a table with eight individuals that were total strangers and trust them. So that was a challenge for me. And to be, to be honest, to be vulnerable, that was difficult. And, but when I looked at the faces around the table and when I saw, heard the comfort in their voices, I saw the tears falling. I saw people just saying to me, whispering, you're going to be okay. We're here for you. We're here to listen. And that was the most amazing thing that they were actively listening and they heard me. And that gave me the comfort to be vulnerable. That gave me the comfort to share my story and to say, I am hurting and I need help. So what I would say um, for individuals that are still thinking and have not decided whether or not they want to be a part of a group. One of the biggest thing for me is that, you know what, try it out. It's, it's taking that first step to say, I am hurting. It hurts. We all know that when we lose somebody, it hurts. And so don't shy away from it. Don't keep it all bottled up inside because that's even worse than allowing yourself to be vulnerable. But come out, come join a group. So there's this environment that's provided for you that's safe and say, we're here to help you, whatever your needs are. We're here to journey. Grief is a journey and we're here to journey with you.